Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have one very interesting question from Radical Mathematics. We have to evaluate the expression x power 6 if given x is cube root of square root 189 minus 8 plus square root of 1 plus root 3 by 2. So let's get started by considering cube root equal to a and this is square root equal to b. As square root 189 is greater than square root 64 so a will be always positive let us calculate both the values separately so i will begin with with b it is square root of 1 plus root 3 by 2 now i can write 1 as 2 by 2 plus root 3 by 2 now denominator is common, so I will be writing 2 plus root 3 divided by 2. Further I can multiply numerator denominator by 2, so I can write 4 plus 2 root 3 and denominator will be 2 times 2. Now I can split 4, so we can split as 3 plus 1 plus 2 root 3 divided by 4. Now can we write 3 as root 3 square, 1 as 1 square and then 2 times root 3 times 1 divided by 2 square it is. Now a square plus b square plus 2ab identity. Let us write here a square plus b square plus 2 times ab. We can write equal to a plus b whole square. So I will write numerator as a square root root 3 plus 1 whole square and denominator is 2 whole square. Now we can cancel a square root with both the power. So it will left with root 3 plus 1 divided by 2. So our b value is root 3 plus 1 divided by 2. Let us calculate a now. a equal to cube root of a square root 189 minus 8. Now I will take cube in both sides. So a cube will be equal to square root 189 minus 8. Now let us assume b cube equal to square root 189 plus 8. Now we have two equations. Now I will subtract second one from first one. So sign change will be there. Left hand side will be a cube minus b cube. Right hand side will have only minus 8 minus 8 minus 16. Now I will find out a cube times b cube value which will be equal to a b whole cube equal to let us write a cube square root 189 minus 8 in one bracket in another square root 189 plus 8 now i will write another identity it is a minus b times a plus b equal to a square minus b square so this is a minus b, this is a plus b. So let's write a b whole cube. This will be equal to a square root 189 whole square minus 8 whole square. So 189 minus 64 which will come out 125 
which we will write 5q. So AB equal to 5 after taking cube root. AB is equal to 5 and A cube minus B cube is minus 16. Let me write here. A cube minus B cube is minus 16. AB equal to 5. Now I will apply A Q minus B Q formula. So I can write A minus B. In other bracket, A square plus B square plus A B equal to negative 16. Now I can write A minus B. In other bracket, A square plus B square minus 2 A B and plus 3 A B equal to negative 16. 3 minus 2 is 1. Now from these three terms I can write a minus b whole square. So here I can write a minus b whole square and then plus 3ab. RHS is negative 16. Let's apply the value of ab 5. And let us consider a minus b equal to suppose u. So I will write here u times u square plus 3 ab is 5. Right hand side is negative 16. So we can write u cube plus 15u equal to negative 16. Take all the term to one side u cube plus 15u plus 16 equal to 0. This is one cubic equation. We will solve using method of factorization. Let me write here u cube plus 15u plus 16 equal to 0. Now I will split this 16 as 1 plus 15. So let me write in this way u cube plus 1 and then remaining 15 I will write here equal to 0. Now a cube plus b cube formula and here we will take 15 common. So a plus b a square plus b square minus ab. 15 is common. So in bracket we can write u plus 1. Right hand side is 0. Now u plus 1 is overall common. So in bracket I can write u square minus u plus 1 plus 15. Right hand side is 0. Or we can write u plus 1 times u square minus u plus 16 equal to 0. Conclusion will be u plus 1 equal to 0 or u square minus u plus 16 will be equal to 0. So from first equation conclusion will be u equal to negative 1. And from this second quadratic equation I will only check discriminant. So let me write delta p square minus 4 ac. So b is minus 1 whole square minus 4 times 1 times 16. So it is 1 minus 64 which will give us minus 63. As delta is negative we can write here it will generate complex solutions. So we can reject this quadratic equation rejected. Now u equal to minus 1 will be accepted. So let me write here the value of u. u was a minus b equal to minus 1 and second equation was a b equal to 5. So from second equation I can write 
b equal to 5 over a and which I will apply in this first equation. So let's apply. I will write a minus b equal to negative 1. a minus 5 over a equal to negative 1. Multiply both sides by a. So I will write a times a minus 5 over a equal to minus a. a square minus 5 equal to minus a a square plus a minus 5 equal to 0 this is quadratic equation so find out value of a using quadratic formula minus b so it will be minus 1 plus minus square root b square is 1 minus 4ac plus 20 divided by 2a so 2 so I can write minus 1 plus minus the square root 21 over 2. So two values of A we are having. But condition on A was A should be positive. So I will reject the minus 1. So let me write here minus 1 plus root 21 over 2 and minus 1 minus root 21 over 2. So this we will reject. So accepted value of a is minus 1 plus root 21 over 2. Now let us calculate x power 6. Once we will calculate x. So I will write x equal to a plus b. a is root 21 minus 1 over 2 b was root 3 plus 1 divided by 2. Now I can write here x is equal to this plus 1 and minus 1 will be over. So what is left root 21 plus root 3 divided by 2. Now I will take root 3 common. So it will give us root 3 by 2 in bracket root 7 plus 1 this was x now i will consider squaring both sides so i will be writing here x square equal to root 3 square 3 2 square 4 now root 7 plus 1 whole square root 7 whole square 7 1 whole square 1 plus 2ab so 2 root 7 it is coming out 3 by 4 in bracket 8 plus 2 root 7 now i can divide by 2 so i can write x square equal to 3 by 2 in bracket 4 plus root 7 now x power 6 is required I will consider cubing both sides. So let me write x square whole power 3 which will be equal to x power 6 which will be equal to 3 by 2 whole cube times 4 plus root 7 whole cube. So we are getting our required expression x power 6 equal to 3 cube 27, 2 cube 8. Now a plus b whole cube formula. So a cube 4 cube plus root 7 cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square. Now I can write 27 over 8. Now this is 64. Root 7 cube is 7 root 7. 16 times 3, 48 root 7. Now this will be equal to 12 times 7, 84. Now our answer is about to come x power 6. It will be equal to 27 over 8. In bracket we can write 
148 plus 48 plus 7, 55 root 7. So this is our final answer. Let me put in the box. And this brings the end of the video, friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.